Hey guys, it's Akuma Sitterman again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the videos on Oculus Quest development. I've been having a lot of issues with hand tracking and actually make it work on the device. So that's what I want to show you today. What type of things I had to do to make it work, what do we need to do, and then I want to show you basically the scene running on the device as soon as we start the video. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you how these scenes work. And I have a demo of the scene running on my Oculus Quest. So I'm just going to hit play and then you can watch the interaction. So it allows you to press different buttons. You have a little panel, as you can see, I'm pressing the velocity, I'm changing the speed. I'm also rotating my hands and you can see the, also how I can change my hand style. So the thing is really intuitive. It's really actually really cool. I can change the, also the speed, like I said, and also if I want to reverse it, I can reverse it. Or if I want to add smoke, I can do it. So pretty happy with the results that I had. So what I want to show you is what I did to actually make it work. I, I had a lot of issues making this work, so I want to give you some tips. So if you need to make it work, then you can use, you can basically use the scene that I'm, that I'm going to be providing you. So this is going to be checking the, the Unity Oculus Quest Essentials. There is one thing that you need to do if you, if you haven't done it or if you want to do it in your own project. So the first thing that I would say that you need to do is go ahead and make sure that you go into the asset store. And then when you go into the Asus, actually release a new version of the Oculus integration. So I had issues with updating and Oculus recommends that you remove the entire Oculus folder and then basically re-import re -import everything. So you're going to be searching for Oculus. You're going to go into Oculus. And there's really some weird version in the Oculus has going on. I think they went in a higher version and now they went down to a version, but this is the latest version, it's version 12. So make sure that you, you know, you look at that version and that's going to be the version that includes the train scene that I, that I just showed you. The other thing, if you want to find that scene, so once you hit import and you import it, so make sure you delete this folder just to go back to what we were doing. Delete this folder completely, hit import, you're going to get a download first and then import and then replace it with everything. Don't worry about, you know, some of the components, you know, getting disconnected because once we bring in the new script it's going to basically replace and rebind everything in the scene so that's one thing that you need to do once you get that going you're going to be looking for the scene so what i did is i just searched for hand hands interaction and then you're going to see that you know that will come up and then it'll tell you which folder which is the sample framework and then oculus and then assets so if I go into that, I can double click on it and then it'll open up the scene that I'm that I'm basically looking at right now. So as you can see here, we have, you know, we have the panel and then you have a few objects in the hierarchy, the interactable tools, SDK driver, then which has all the configuration for the left hand and also the right hand. I haven't really experimented with this. All I did is just get it working. And so I'm going to be doing videos of explaining how this works. But for now, just know that you're going to have this component. You're also, in this case, we're going to have an OVR camera rig because we're going to be looking around. One thing that I struggle with and I didn't see in the docu in the documentation from Oculus is that you need to change the control, the, the hand tracking support. So right now, by default, it's controllers only. And I don't know why Oculus didn't set these to hands only. If they have a hands interaction train scene, it's supposed to be for hand tracking. So why don't they, you know, set it to hands and then they have to... And then we have to figure it out. And, you know, I, I, I struggle with making it work. And finally, I was able to find this. So make sure that you set this to hands only. And then that's going to allow you to basically run the scene with your hands and interact with your hands. So the other thing that you also need to make sure that you do, and that's something that I also didn't see documented, or maybe it is documented, but I just couldn't find it, is you're going to be searching for Android in your project. And if you don't have this Android manifest, or if you have one already in one of your sample scenes, make sure that you delete them and then recreate them. And then to recreate them, it's as easy as just going into the Oculus option, then go into Tools. I would recommend that you click on the Remove here to remove it because, you know, I don't know if Oculus is doing extra things to get it removed, but I did it that way. I remove it from here, and then I click on Create a Store Compatible Android Manifest. 
And then I just wanted to make sure that I had the proper the proper permission. So make sure that you do have those. So if you double click on the Android manifest, there's two lines that are really important, specifically for hand tracking. Looks like this one I haven't changed because I was running it on, on my PC. But what you'll need to do, and let me go ahead and open up. You can't really see my PC right now. But what you're going to do is you're going to have one that is going to be for the head tracking. The other one is going to be for hand tracking. And this one, let me just make sure that I have the, the right permissions. I'm looking at my other monitor because you're going to need you're going to need that. So I think what I'm going to do is and I can see it right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to post this in and get in as a guest and then just make sure that you look at the the description in this video because it's going to have the proper XML. I'm going to copy it from my PC, paste it there, and then you guys can use it. This is not correct. You actually need another one, which is going to be the hand tracking one, but it's not from these two namespaces. It's going to be a different. It's actually in the Oculus namespace. So for now, just ignore this. Just know that we need to get the correct one, and I'm going to be putting that in the description of this video. So that's one thing. The, the other couple of things that you're going to need to do is make sure that you update the version of your Oculus software, get it to the latest version, and then you want to make sure that you also restart your Oculus because that's going to show you the hand controller and you're going to have to start this experience with the hand controller. Once you get that going, then everything is going to work. So if you have any issues in getting it working, let me know and you know, let me know in the comments because I'm able, I'll be able to help you out in anything that you need. And then I also have another link that I basically a post that I made to the Oculus. Let me actually find this so Oculus Unity forums. And if you search for that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just add that link to the description of this video, but you can search it that way as well. And if you go into this hand tracking in editor post, I posted my latest changes and latest findings to actually make it work. There's a couple of guys in here or girls that actually made it work and they didn't have all the different settings that I had to have on mine in order to make it work. But make sure that you re read through this because it's gonna be really helpful. I also had to make some changes on the Oculus build processor. So this will show you what I changed. I basically just had to do an if statement that I was checking to see if that was no. If this is no, I don't, I don't set the second value. Otherwise, you're gonna get a null exception and that's the issue that I was getting. And I tell you here how and what I did to fix it. So, Make sure that you read this. I'm going to include two links. One is going to be for the Android Manifest XML, and the other one is going to be for this forum entry in the Oculus VR section. So that's everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video on Oculus Quest with hand tracking. If you guys have any questions about anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have great resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access to source code. Thank you very much, guys.